Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of JB Saltwater Fish Tank and Friends. Um, as you guys know, there has been a lot of changes going on with the Spartan. Uh, I do apologize because I haven't given you guys a preview of the tank. I know I said the trials, the tribulations, the good and the bad, but I haven't really been posting everything. And I really do apologize for that. But um, you guys are going to enjoy what you see. Um, trust me, it is um, coral galore. And as you guys know, I'm an acro junkie now. Uh, I converted from LPS to SPS. Congratulations to me. Pat on the back. Um, so what you're looking at here is a acclimation or or a cleaning technique for my acros. Um, basically, what I what I do is when I bring them in, I'll use a um, uh, uh, a uh, basically like an air stone. So you see the connection into the wall. I got airline tubing. I got this little piece hanging here and I, I stick it in the water to generate movement and wh what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm doing is cleaning off the, the acros. I'm killing any little things that might be on it like red bugs or flatworms or any other thing that is uh, um, included in these delivery of packages. Um, as you can see I'm using a Revive Coral Cleaner. Um, what I did, it's a, this is a concentrated version by Julian Sprung. Um, so what basically what I did is I took a cap full, I dumped it in about a gallon of water, which is right here. The corals actually came in bags. They're in this box here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me back up a little bit. They're in this box here. Um, went ahead, took them out the bag. I brought them into this little acclimator here um, because this takes a lot more water to fill up than this little thing does. And as you can see, I use a whole lot of water to fill it up more than needed. But I figured, what the hell, right? I mean, this, this is money getting spent, so. Um, you can see I have about one, two, three, four, five, six new pieces. Um, I do this for all the acros. Um, this is a technique that I learned from Tommy, even though um, I never really used to use Revive or whatever. I tried it on SPS a couple times and obviously killed it because that's not what it's meant for. But um, what, what I do is I go ahead and place it in this container. It does about 15 minutes and then I'll rinse them off with some fresh water and then I'll put them in the like the dark side of my sump or refugium and um, once um, once they get about five to ten hours of darkness so they can recuperate then I'll bring them into the tank um, sometimes I I use that technique sometimes I don't just depending on where I got the corals and everything so um, as you can see this is well as you can't see because of the blue light but this is my sump converted refugium. Um, I, I went with a different technique instead of using the frag plugs because I, I don't always get frags. And then this area right here is what I'm talking about, where the corals go. I let them sit there for about a half a day or something before they go into the tank. So these are all the pieces that I have lying around. Like, and I'm very excited to, to have them. So um, you guys uh, lay around and you'll get a exciting preview of what the top of the Spartan looks like. So, uh, um, oh, two things. Number one, I was running uh, the T5s. I was running 1439 watt T5s. Uh, they are leaving and we're moving over to, you guessed it right, the Ecotech Radeon Pros. Yeah, we're going to be putting a fixture on here. So, there's going to be a video on that. And also, once the install is done, we're going to do a video ex um, review on the uh, Ecotech Radeon Pros. So, uh, Thank you guys for watching and thank you for staying tuned. Welcome back YouTube. What an exciting night. Obviously I got uh, the Heat playing the Pacers and we're in overtime and I'm seeing how that's going. But they just got a uh, foul for some reason. But that's not what we're here for, damn it. Now they got 100 to 101. Whatever. What we're really here for is uh, the Radeon Pros I'm installing while I'm watching a game. And this is a uh, freaking... I don't know whether to be excited or devastated, but... Um, since I told you I'd give you the good, bad, and the ugly... God! 101. No, 101 to 101. This is ridiculous, man. Yo, he cannot make another point. Please, 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 he cannot make another point. But um, as you can see, the, the installation is going on. Um, we're just lining everything up to get ready to paint. He got all three. Dang it. Great. Great. Damn. 
But uh, this is ridiculous. 2.2 left in overtime. It's over. Golly. Anyways, um, I got one. I, I actually got. I got three more brackets to make. What I did is uh, I am not using a hanging kit. I could care less about those hanging kits. Not to say anything about Ecotech Radions. They make the best hanging kits possible. But uh, what happened is uh, I, I have a canopy, so I'm not going to be seeing it. Um, and I wanted to do something in my way. So th this is the way I chose to do it. The reason they're a little bit longer at the ends is because um, that's where the fixture is going to be hanging from the ends. It's going to be directly a link directly to the bar instead of like hanging out of the, uh, off of the eyelid screws. That way if I need to take them off, if I need to take off a single light, I can just take off the eyelid screws. I don't have to worry about taking off the, the bar or the other two lights. I can take off one section at a time without having to worry about taking it apart. So uh, I keep you guys tuned. Uh, if you're watching the game, stay tuned for that and I'll get back to you. Peace. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of JB Saltwater Fish Tank and Friends. Today we're going to be doing a, a review on the uh, Radeon XR30 Wireless Pro. Um, this is a review that I'm doing for myself. Um, you guys can take the ride with me. Um, the reason I'm doing the review is uh, Wesley Forbes has asked me to do so. Uh, he wanted my opinion on the lights and from friend to friend, um, I thought there was no other way to do it than to post the video so you guys can enjoy the ride. Um, I'll start off by saying that uh, I, the, the way I set up these lights actually is by um, making a custom bracket for it. I didn't go with the, uh, the Ecotech bracket being the fact that I already had something in place and I, I thought it would be a lot easier on my part to utilize what I had in place versus utilizing their bracket system. Now, if you have an open tank, an open style tank or a open top um, where you're gonna be hanging the lights from the roof, I would say go with their lights, be I mean, their bracket because it's amazing. I mean, uh, I've installed them before. They're actually well put together and very, very nice. Um, what I have is a canopy, and as you can see, it's open almost to the roof. My roof is about 14 feet tall, somewhere up in there. So, And you can see how high the tank is. Now, the way the lights are set up is that I have these hooks that are drilled in right here uh, uh, into the canopy itself. And then I have these hooks that you can, well, these uh, hooks that you can kind of unscrew. And you can just rotate it and to take them out and put them in and then I have two extending uh, items that I grab from uh, it's like you could say like chain links that I grab from Home Depot everything that you see here is from Home Depot including the uh, the bar that's actually holding these together there's one running across all the way across the back from one light all the way to the other all the way to the end and then you have the split brackets which are right here um, the reason I have the split brackets is so I can access the the lighting features or the three buttons on the top um, because the radions are not wireless as of yet um, you still need access to it one way or the other whether it be by um, actually coming up to the top of your tank and messing with the buttons or actually hooking up the cable to it which I have a 50 foot cable that can run um, down and behind my tank um, I'm actually gonna hook that up so I can always have complete access of the lighting and I don't have to climb this uh, ladder that I'm on now. Um, we'll go ahead and let's see if we can set it into a mold. I don't remember think alright this is uh, I guess I just set it into uh, lightning which is not the one I really want to go for but you guys can get a preview of that and as you can see not spooking out the fish or anything but it, it gives you a nice little demonstration of something that the lights can do um, now this is the mode that I want all right 
Now, this mold introduces all of the colors that uh, the radions are capable of doing. Um, looks like a techno video, just put some music in the background. Mm, 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 mm. Anyways, uh, the lights. Now, uh, I'm using the pros. Uh, the reason I like the pros, uh, or the reason I went with the pros, is because it has eight um, pre watt whites um, that are five watts each. It has the red, the four orgasm reds. It has uh, two yellows. Um, the reds and the yellows are, uh, are three waters. It also has the greens, which are three waters. Also comes with another set of blues, which are three waters, royal blues, eight of those, which are five waters. And then my favorite, favorite part, which is the indigo, which is a UV light, which is at uh, 450 nanometers, which is 2.5 watts. And then it has the ultraviolets, which are at um, 2.5 also. I mean, it makes a heck of a difference um, when, when you have your tank set up and, and you're chasing that color. The UVs I've had, I had them on the 90 prior. And um, I could say they were the best thing since sliced bread. Um, you know what guys, bear with me a second, let me go ahead and uh, stop the techno music real quick. Let's see if I can um, 